With the explosive rise in the popularity of seven-seat SUVs, you might think the days of the MPV are over. But Volkswagen think not. This is the latest seven-seat MPV, and it's about as sensible as they come. Sensible because it doesn't try to be anything other than an MPV. It's designed to be family friendly, so it's big, it's boxy and it's well made. It sits between the smaller Golf SV and the larger Chiran in the VW range and has a whole raft of rivals, including the Citroën Grand C4 Picasso, BMW 2 Series Grand Tourer and the Ford S-Max. So, let's start with the back seats and work our way forwards. Doors that open nice and wide, making it easy to get everyone in and out. Always a good start. The middle row folds forward. It's very light and easy to operate. And in you come. Ah, there we go. Now, just like its rivals, you get two good sized seats in the back here, both of which have an Isofix child seat point. We've done some clever stuff up here in the headroom and have eked away extra space, which really means it's quite a comfortable place to be. However, Longer journeys might not be so comfortable, because take a look at this. Legroom isn't brilliant unless you're a tiny little five foot four like me. It's probably best to leave the rear seats to the children, I think. Okay, let's try the middle. So, the seat back and just pushes forward and in you come. And this is where the Turan really excels. Three fantastic size seats in here. Each of them also has got an Isofix point. And you can make things a little bit easier for those sat in the back because each seat has a, a little adjustment that means you can slide it forward or backwards individually as you need it. Um, leg room and also head room is still pretty good in here as well. You get the obligatory pop-up tables on the back of the seats. And thanks to the low window line, it feels really spacious in here. But what I really like most about the Turan is the fact that you can get five individual full-size child seats in the back of here, which makes it an incredibly flexible car. With all the seats up, there isn't a huge amount of boot space, but you could say that for all the Turan's rivals. Handily, all two rows of seats fold into the floor, giving a massive load area. And the load area is completely flat, meaning getting those large items in and out is a breeze. The front passenger seat also folds down, meaning you can take up to 2.7 metres in length home with you. Like most VWs, the entry-level Turan comes with the basics, air conditioning, Bluetooth and roof rails. It also comes with seven airbags and automatic post-collision braking. It's a system that holds the brakes if your foot flies off the pedal if you're ever rear-ended. Our SE version is the pick of the range with alloys, automatic city emergency braking and front and rear parking sensors. Further up the range you add sat-nav, adaptive cruise control and there's the option of a panoramic roof. Well, let's talk for a moment in here about the panoramic sunroof. If you do decide to opt for it, you are going to get a cabin that is absolutely flooded with light. However, you will lose two rather handy little storage spaces, which are tucked up neatly there in the roof. Although actually, I'm not sure if you would really miss them that much because there is tons of storage space in here. You've got enormous door bins couple of fantastically huge cup holders here along with some little storage areas dotted about. You've got your little panel down here for all the USB and the power outlets. Another one there under the armrest and over here a good size glove box. In fact I would go so far as to say that if you can't find a place for all your stuff in a Volkswagen Turan then you are carrying too much stuff with you. Overall, it has a really good quality feel in here. And because it's almost identical to the VW Golf, the layout is very familiar and very intuitive. All models have an adjustable seat, which is very comfortable, along with an adjustable steering wheel. Plus you can opt for some really clever little extras, like a system which allows you to position a camera in the back and then relay pictures to this central screen whilst you're on the move, allowing you to keep an eye on what they're up to in the back seat. Isn't that just brilliant for long journeys and with the children? Under the bonnet, you can choose from two turbo petrols, a 1.2 and a 1.4. If you really want petrol, then the 1.4 is the one to go for, as the 1.2 is full breathless to carry around a full load. But we'd recommend going with one of the diesels. There's a two litre and a 1.6.
Now it's the 1.6 litre that we have here and with 108 brake horsepower we think it's the best all-rounder. If you really plant your foot on that accelerator it gets a little bit noisy but once you're up to speed things do settle down. When paired with the six-speed manual gearbox we've got here should return 64.2 miles to the gallon. Let's talk about reality. We've been averaging around 53-54 miles to the gallon. Now what I really like about the Turan is that whilst it looks like an MPV and it's certainly as practical as you'd expect from an MPV, it doesn't feel like an MPV behind the wheel. It feels far more car-like to drive. The steering is light and responsive. There's very little body roll going into corners. But of course, you get the benefits that you get because it is actually an MPV. That slightly elevated seating position. Really good visibility thanks to these enormous windows that wrap around you. Makes it very easy to park and very easy to nip around town in. Now look, it's not as much fun to drive as say the BMW 2 Series Grand Tourer or the Ford S-Max. But so often when you get behind the wheel of a big seven seater like this, you feel as though you're driving a van and you definitely don't feel that in the Turan. Adaptive dampers are available on the Turan, but we'd suggest sticking with the standard suspension as it's more than comfortable enough. If you want an MPV that's stylish and practical, take a look at the Citroen Grand C4 Picasso. If you want your MPV to have a premium badge and be great to drive, click on the video for the BMW 2 Series Grand Tourer.